my channel. Uh, today's video, uh, my daughter is going to help me to do some roll today. So uh, I don't want to waste your time. So let's start cooking. So first of all, we're going to start with some sushi rice. I'm going to put some sushi vinegar. And then all we're doing is just mixing that up together and then putting that to one side until we need it. So next we're making the sauce, the miso sauce. It's got the miso paste in there with a bit of olive oil and some water. Just put that to a boil and then get a whisk and whisk it up till you have a nice consistency like this. And then a teaspoon of sugar. Next we're just going to cut half a nori sheet to make the roll. Just use a knife and just fold it just to get an even slice like so. Next we're going to add some rice. You want to fill the rice and leave a gap at the top for us to roll it. You want to put some rice at the edge so it makes it nice and even. And then after that sashimi powder, just cover it all to make some nice taste. This makes it hot as well. Put it on the bamboo mat for us to flip it next. As you can see there's rice at the edge of the seaweed. It makes it easier when we're rolling out at the end. Then we've got some chicken, just cut some pieces up to fill the roll. And then afterwards get some spring onions and just bob it on there. And then after that it's time to flip. Time to roll the sushi. It does get quite tricky but practice makes perfect. So with the gap, since we left the gap with no rice, it makes it easier for the rice to, to stick onto it to form a nice circle round shape. And then afterwards you want to press lightly at the top and at the sides to make it a nice square shape. want to cut it into even slices so they're the same shape and size. We don't want any staircases so this is how I do it really. And afterwards we just pop it on a, on a plate, make it look pretty. Next you want to add the miso paste we made earlier and just smother it all over the roll. So each roll has a fairly decent amount of sauce. It doesn't matter if you've misplaced the sauce on the dish, we can just clean that up with tissue later. Next we want to put some decorated leaves just to make the plate look pretty and appealing. Just add your ginger as well on the side and then after I just added the final touches of this roll by adding black sesame seeds on top as part of the garnish and there you have it my version of a spicy chicken roll I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you liked it I hope you could give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to this channel and thank you very much for watching. Bye!